Hi Otters, it's Miss Trenier back again with another recorder video for you. This one is going to be using our note E, A and our new note G. So just to remember, we are using our left hand on top. And I'm gonna look like you're not your um, person in front of you, but your mirror. So to you, your hand should look like an L. That's the hand that goes on the top and covers the hole. Don't forget, like you're just warming your thumb and squeeze tightly with those finger pads. If you want to do a, um, a llama or a chicken pose, you can really feel those pads. Remember our B note? That was thumb and one. It sounded like this. Remember our A? That had two fingers and a thumb and it sounded like this. And don't forget you're covering the bottom hole with your right pinky. And here's G. So you still have your left thumb over the hole in the back, and now you're using all three fingers. This is the trickiest one we've done so far because that's four places to cover. So you might wanna check and see, do you have circles on all of your finger pads? If you do, you're probably squeezing the right amount. Your hand might get a little tired, but you'll get stronger as you do this. And now we're going to play G echoes. I will go first, you will go second. The first note is one we have not seen yet. It's called a whole note and it takes a whole four beats to blow it. It will be like this through your do system. Do for four beats, just straight. Listen to how it sounds. Your turn, ready, go. Number two is two half notes. Each half note is worth two beats, so it will sound like this. Do, do. Here's number two on G. Your turn, ready, go. Do, do. Number three, is this gonna be a nice ta, 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 rest. One, two, I'll go first. Your turn, ready, go. Do, do, do. Number four, although you can't see one of the notes all the way, is four ta's. Just ta, 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 ta. I'll go first. Ready, go. Your turn. Ready, play. Do, 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 do. All right, if you're making your recorder sound like mine, you are on the right track. Let's keep going. Here's a song called G, It's Terrific. And what do you think the note is that we play in this song? All right, here's the fingering chart version of our G, It's Terrific. And it will just be G, 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 G. That's that note that's called the whole note that lasts for four beats. And you remember the sign that's two lines and two dots? That means to repeat, so you'll do that twice. And here's how it will sound. You can play with me or after me, your choice. Repeat. All right, moving on. Ooh, this is how it looks on a staff. G is now red because in the do, re, mi, solfege, it's a do right now in our in our pitches. So it looks like this now, and there you can see that nice round whole note for the G. Here we go. Let's play together. Ready, and. And the three underneath there reminds you to use all three of your fingers. I love this song, Couch Potato. We're gonna get to practice all three notes in this song, but you'll get a time to rest your hands, like our couch potato is resting on his couch. Here's how it looks in fingering chart version. It will be, oh look, what kind of notes are we gonna play every time? They all last four beats. They're all whole notes, and you can see that thing that looks like a hat next to it, that's called a whole rest. And you get four beats to just take it easy and rest your hands. But 
I don't want you to completely take it easy. Take that time to make sure you're getting your next note ready. All right, fingering chart version will be G, rest, 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 A, B, G, rest, 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 rest. Gives you a nice long time to practice moving from G to A to B and that tricky one back to G again. So you have two fingers to put down. So if you need to look, you got four beats. All right, here we go. Fingering chart version of Catch Potato. One, two, ready, play. Next way of looking at it. There it is on a staff. I think it's a little bit easier to see now. We don't have, a, now you can see why musicians use a staff. You can see the notes are moving up. You can see that there are breaks between and you can, because I've put the notes in, you can see the names of them. And the finger numbers are down below to help you out as well. Same song, different look. One, two, play with me. Ready for the next one? Puppy dogs! Who doesn't love a puppy dog? I love them so much I have two. Let's take a look at the fingering chart version. Ooh, I see that we have one measure at the end where we're gonna use all three. So that's gonna be our tricky measure. Let's read through first. You can add your fingering along with it, but we're not gonna play. We're gonna speak like this. B, 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 A, 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 G, 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 B, A, G. There's our tricky measure. So let's start with practicing that one time. Just that feel how that goes from one from the B, two on the A, and three on the G. It's gonna sound like this. That sounds so cool. We're gonna learn a song later on that has that playing over and over. But here is Playing the fingering chart version. We've tried the hardest part. Let's do the hardest part one more time. The B A G. Ready? Whew. If you need to take that slower, take it slower. It's okay. Let's try the whole thing. One, two, play with me. written on a staff. There it is, so colorful. I love it this way. And you can really see how the notes going down, B, A, G, are getting lower. Same song. Let's take it maybe a touch slower. One, two, ready, play. All right, just a little more practice changing between our notes. Let's start with a whole note B for number one. I'll play first, ready, and. Your turn, ready, go. G. For number two, I'm gonna play A, G. Listen to me. It's gonna be do, do. It's gonna change. So listen, here I go. For number three, I'm going to go G, A, B for a change. All right, listen to that. 
Your turn. Ready, go. G, A, B. And for number four, I'm going to go B, A, G, G. One, two. Here I go. Your turn. Ready, go. B, A, G, G. All right, you've done your echoes. Ready for a new song? All right, here we go. This is our last B-A-G song. Third graders, you might have played this when we did Animal A and B and written your own song. So this might be a fun review for you. Animals A and B. You can always make up your own and send it to me. Here it is. In All right, we don't have a fingering chart version of this. So let's start by just reading the rhythms. We haven't seen a song yet with toddies in it. So this is a good reminder of how toddies work in a song. Let's clap and speak the rhythms. Ready, go. Toddy, ta, toddy, ta, 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 ta. Second line, toddy, ta, toddy, ta, 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 ta. Did you notice some similarities? You should notice that the first two toddy, ta, toddy, ta's are also in the second line. Starts with toddy, ta's also. Now let's try using our finger position and speaking the notes together. Also, you'll notice I've left off the finger numbers because now I hope that you're remembering how many fingers to hold down for each note. Here we go. B, B, A, B, B, A, 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 B, 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 A, B, B, A, B, A, G. Now it's a lot easier to say it than to play it, so I'm gonna slow it down for playing like this fast. Animals, animals, ready, go. Ooh, that G can be tricky. All right, I hope that you were able to play along. If you need to slow it down, you can always play it slower and then try again with me at the faster speed. Awesome work. You are getting it. Keep it up.